Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I will be talking about the Halloween event for Facebook, right? Spooky Festival. Um, and basically, yeah, we had some technical issues, so I apologize this video is a little later than I was hoping to make it. But anyway, I'm going to go over, you know, basically the event and just do a quick overview of the Spooky Festival event. So without further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are in game. We have all the devil skins basically laid out for us, right? We have Heidi, Leanne, Yasmin, Aurora, Elmer, Ziri, Krista, Astrid and Lucas, Jorgen, Artemis, Helios, Ginger, Chaba, Lars, Astroth. Okay. So that's what we're looking at devil skin wise, right? Of course. So with that being said, we have the Halloween event, Spooky Festival, right? And it says here, did you know that the gates between the world of the living and the world of the dead are open? Overcome your fears and make little spirits happy. So here we have shady dealings. This is all about completing quests in this event, right? And if you complete 86 of them, you get one Spooky Festival coin and a ghost in love player's avatar. So that's pretty cool. You also get candies along the way. Fearless, this is all about logging in uh, during a special event. So by claiming this, right, I have now completed one quest um, for this event. So special invitation, right, this is all about VIP. And for VIP seven, you actually get a spooky festival coin and a flirty ghost player's avatar so we're going to go ahead and claim all of these guys right and this should help us get closer to completing some more quests in shady dealings so now we have officially completed eight and by claiming this one right we have officially completed nine out of uh, ten right which is the next quest completion so okay we did shady dealings we did fearless we did special invitation next we have underworld party all about spending emeralds. They want you to spend a total of 65,000 emeralds. Um, and they have the Furnace of Souls frame, kind of a cool frame if I'm being honest. And you get two spooky festival coins, one spooky festival coin for 55,000 and this badass ghost. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. All right, they really came with it for Halloween. Uh, Black Energy, this is all about spending energy. And if you spend 18,000, you get the grand prize of a spooky festival coin. Those are very valuable, of course. You have opening chests in Outland. And if you do 165, that's a lot. Uh, you get a spooky festival coin. We have ghostly sleep, all about collecting soul stones. So if you reinvest in this event, you can probably get all the way to 1,000 or close to it. If you also saved, you know, the opening that you got you know, the chest right the lesser chests that you got from your daily bonus you can use that as well that's 100 soul stones or 50 depending on if you have vip 10 or not we have demon hunter and this is all about destroying evil minions in the furnace of souls so it looks like you know if you do right get fifteen thousand, you get this player's avatar and you get this spooky festival coin so that's what we kind of have going on in that portion of the event. We also have the Furnace of Souls, which was not available to us earlier, right? So here's the Merchant, of course, right? And as you can see, right, this Hero Soulstone chest, it looks like the only exceptions are Cleaver and Jet. So that means you can get Morvis, Corgan, and now Yasmin as well from these Hero Soulstone chests, which is super cool. Um, there are also other offers, I believe, right? Some of the more tenuous and more annoying to get items, right? That you can purchase for multiple, uh, what do you call it? Spooky festival coins, right? So, you know, I would definitely say those red items are looking pretty good to me personally. Um, and obviously the hero, so hero soulstone chest for me, for Yasmin. Uh, we can also acquire, right, the devil skin stones um, using these different skin stone purchases. So that's what we're looking at there. 
And here you can trade in, right, your candies. I'm not going to do that here. But we also have the Furnace of Souls. And this is where essentially we have, you know, different thresholds. They want you to hit 250 as the goal for how many you need to take out. And the cool thing with this event, right, I will go into this more in the future days here. But um, you can look at what other people have done. So, you know, you can actually see, hey, what teams did they use? So this is something I'm going to definitely utilize. I'm going to check out what other teams people have used and what heroes are popular to take out, um, you know, these opposing monsters that we're going to be facing or minions. I, I got to double check the wording there. And it's loading very slowly for some reason. But here we can see this is the combo of, you know, heroes that this person decided to use. And, you know, obviously they did very well because they took out 50, which seems to be the max uh, minions that were destroyed. And that seems to be a consensus. So, you know, the goal is to find five sets of that. And it looks like you're set to take down 250 minions. So I'm not actually going to battle just yet because I feel like, I don't know, these buffs change in three hours. So just given the fact that here it says six days and 20 hours left, I'm going to assume that I still have 20 hours left to complete the Furnace of Souls. And I will actually do that for a video tomorrow. Um, it's pretty laid out here right now. But yeah, that was basically a quick overview of what we're looking at for this Halloween event, right? Spooky festival. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. It looks like now that we have access to the Furnace of Souls, um, the mini game video is now good to go, right? So here's the seventh item, right? This tombstone right here, just to the left and underneath the hero soul chest, right? So if you click on that, that is the seventh item. So for me, it'll be one because I haven't really clicked on any of them, but that is the last item, the seventh item. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in Dominion.